Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited about this video today. I know there's already reviews out there, but this thing just launched like last week and I've already got it. This is the palette, the inaugural palette, I guess you could say, from the Alamar Cosmetics line. If you do not know who Alamar Cosmetics is, she was the makeup artist from, and I'm trying, I can't remember. I can't remember her name. Her name is Gabby. And she was the makeup artist for uh, Kathleen Light's Kale Polish line. But she has come out. She went to school with Kathleen Light's. And she has come out with her own line. This is the Reina de Caribe palette. And I am so excited. I haven't even taken it out of the packaging yet. Because I wanted you guys to see how stunning this packaging is. And this is her very first palette. She's come out with a palette and a brush set. This is the Ojitos brush set. And so we are going to do a quick look using the Reina de Caldive. Yeah, you can tell I'm a white girl and I'm having a hard time with the Spanish. But we're going to use the Ojitos palette. Ojitos, Ojitos, Ojitos. And the Reina de Caldive palette. And yeah, let's just jump right into it. So I'm going to go ahead and tear into this. This palette is absolutely freaking gorgeous. The look that Kathleen Lights did with this on her page last week was stunning. And as soon as I saw that this was a new brand and a new name, I jumped right on it. So this is what the Unicarton looks like. This is very Cubano, very Caribbean, very just it reminds you of being on an island and being on the beach and just just it's so gorgeous it and then we're going to open it up and this is what the palette looks like on the inside there's eight colors uh let's see here we've got four mattes four shimmers and see i'm going to take my little flowers my little flores here and put my hair back here and um we're going to jump right in and I am actually going to use her um, her brushes also. If you go to the website, it is alamarcosmetics.com. Uh, really, the only products that are available right now is this palette and these brushes. <clears throat> but I'm sure she's going to come out with some things very soon. So, let's just swatch real quick. And I know that I'm not the biggest fan of swatches, but I really just want to do this for the sake of touching these gorgeous oh they're so pretty and buttery so this is from left to right well from my left to right this is la costa and el el malecon so this is la costa and el malecon uh and then we have varadero and celia which is varadero in Celia. Oh wow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Varadero did not get the best swatch, but it's a very beautiful color. Next we have Coco Taxi and Tropico. So this is Coco Taxi and Tropico. And then finally uh, Guantanamera and Cafecito. So this is Guantanamera and Cafecito. And so I can already tell these are beautifully big pigmented. Yeah, they're pigmented. They're they're beautifully pigmented. They're beautifully pigmented colors. Um, what I have not done yet is set my eye area, and there is not a color in there for me to do that. So I'm just gonna grab my little TARDIS Pro palette and use my vintage color here. This is what I always, always, always start all of my looks with no matter what palette I'm using. So I'm gonna use that to just set. I really wanna use these colors, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this color. This is a nice, pretty, fluffy um, brush that would be beautiful for um, a crease. And I think I'm gonna grab the Coco Taxi, which is this color right here. I'm gonna pick that up, and that is what I'm going to lay down in my crease. I need, there we go. I can't just look into a mirror like this. I really have to look at myself close up when I do this. So this is what I'm going to lay down in my crease first. This is a gorgeous, very uh, tropical, almost orange-like 
burnt orange type of color if that makes any sense whatsoever if you off the excess and um, they it's blending out so nicely this is a gorgeous formula um, ready for you <laughs> uh, at the beginning and I did not because I was so excited to do a look with this palette this has been sitting in my room for two days look out of this because I'm really in love with this palette let me show you the brushes real quick this is one of the a fluffy blending brush they don't have names this is just what I'm kind of calling them you have a nice little flat packer brush here for putting on shimmer and then there's this really flat tipped color that would be great for putting something like on the under eye or working a color into your uh, upper lash line as like a liner type color so now I'm going to jump in with this same brush here I'm going to jump into this color tropical tropico for you English speakers out there and I am going to there's a little more kickback on that one and I'm going to lay this one down a little bit deeper into my crease out of this brush line real quick and grab one of the brushes that I know um, I'm gonna grab something that's a little more compact and I want to go in with Guantanamera right which is right here and I'm gonna focus that deeply deeply into my crease because uh, I'm wanting to do a cut crease with this look today and with Baradera and el, el Malecón in La Costa, I can do a gorgeous cut crease with this. Sigma E38. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use that to really diffuse this into my crease. And really just get this down in there. I think a, a fluffier brush is in order here. I have a Morphe brush that is perfect for laying something down deeply into the crease. But I don't have it in front of me. So we're just going to use my Sigma brush little swirly motion I know everybody has like their own way of doing things that is what I'm comfortable with it uh, the more it's gonna work for you I'm just gonna go in lightly over here and start cleaning up my lid and that's not too bad I don't guess I don't really clean up that crease I always fuck my left eye up the right eye always comes out looking amazing. The left eye always gets creasing and it just never <laughs> see and then I fuck up like that and it just it never looks as good. One of my secrets is taking a dry blender which is what I like to do because this just helps me and I will kind of tap off that excess on my eyes where I cleaned up and then we will get into the crease carving out part. So I'm going to jump into this little flat packing brush that comes with the Oitos Trio. And what I'm going to do is go in with the shade La Costa right here. And I'm just going to pick that up on both sides of the brush. And I'm going to use some of my Cover Effects setting spray to wet this. I haven't tried this dry yet. This is my very first time trying this palette at all, as you guys know. And I'm going to lay this down all over. Oh my God. And I'm just going to pack this all down. So now what I want to do is go in with El Malecon, which is this silvery color right here. It's kind of a goldy, silvery type. I don't want to call it a uh duochrome because it's not but i'm getting like gold and silver notes off of it when i look at it it's kind of hard for me to see in this lining and i'm going to lay that down on the outer corner of my lid oh wow it's so fucking pretty oh my god no i'm not I think we all do it and now that I'm on video I kind of catch myself doing it I'll start out like this and go like I'm gonna close my mouth like I kind of played it off like nobody saw me with a bad open mouth look like I'll go ahead and just drag this on over because I'm kind of you're looking a little similar in the light all right so I've got this little like brush from SL Miss Glam that I really like for packing on corner in the outer corners packing on corner in the outer corners for packing on color in the outer corners and it looks a lot like this 
very flat at the top. It's fluffy, but it has a lot of flat. And I'm just going to go in with this lighter Celia color here. And I'm going to throw that in the outer corner. We're going to put some color in this motherfucker. We're just going to go for it. Hell with it. I'm going to lay that down nice and light and beautifully. And just see what happens when we go for some color. That's really pretty. And then I'm going to concentrate the majority of it on the outer corner here where I want it and then work kind of the rest of it over a little bit and add just a little bit of color. Can't even see it. Alright, so I'm going to pop on some liner and some mascara and we'll be right back. Uh, and I just want to go in here and kind of complete this look. So I'm going to grab my, I've cleaned it off a little bit, and I'm going to grab this little flat packer again. I'm going to go back in with La Costa, and I'm actually going to use that to highlight my brow bone. I'm going to go a little different today. Normally, I like to um, stick with what I know, which is, you know, a nice matte or, you know, very subtly shimmery white color, but I think this would be a really pretty brow bone highlight, and looking in the monitor, it is, so that is exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm going to highlight my brow bone with La Costa. Uh, I have nothing bad to say about this palette, y'all. Um, I have not used every color in this palette, but they are all, the ones that I have used are all extremely consistent. Um, the blendability, the pigmentation, all of it is there and is absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to get up a little closer and close my one eye. And let you kind of see the look that I created because I know I'm I'm back a little further and it's, I have hooded eyes so it's a little bit harder to see on me than you know other people um, so I'm gonna grab Coco Taxi on this and I'm just gonna run this under my lower lash line and uh, add a little bit of color down there and and then I'm going to add a little mascara. Reina de Caribe palette. And this is available on the Alamar Cosmetics website. Give me one second. All right. So Alamar, Cos Alamar, Alamar Cosmetics.com. Um, the Reina de Caribe palette retails for $28. And the Ojitos Brush Trio. And a brush. <laughs> The Ojitos Brush Trio retails for $18, and I'm very much in love with this particular brush. It's a nice, fluffy blending brush, and it works very well. So, $28 for Reina de Caribe, and it actually says um, Reina de Caribe Volume 1. So, I'm sure there's something coming out very soon. Check out the website. You'll get to learn much more about the creator of this product on there. And don't forget to check out Kathleen Light's video. I will try to link it above if I can. If not, sorry. Um, but please, if you guys, you need to try this out. This is a young Latina entrepreneur who has just started her own makeup line. And it's just not every day that you see Latina women really flooding the beauty industry and coming out with their own makeup lines. So when you do, you have got to support them. And I did immediately. This was available on May 11th. It is available now. Go to the website, Alamar Cosmetics. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this look. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you guys are new here, please subscribe. If you are returning, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And as always, you guys have an amazing day or night, wherever you are. Bye.